pertussis has been on the rise uh, in the U.S. over the last decade and a half. The disease that's caused by this bacteria Bordetella pertussis um, is whooping cough, and really that's it's an uncontrolled cough um, that makes it difficult to breathe and can also even break bones in your in your chest. The problem with the vaccine that we all get uh, is that while it prevents the whooping cough, this this horrible disease, it doesn't prevent the transmission. Most vaccines that we have today are very good at mounting one particular side of the immune response, and that's known as an, an antibody response. And the majority of clinically important pathogens, such as bacteria or viruses, that we don't have vaccines against require both arms of the immune response. Outer membrane vesicles are very tiny particles that are shed from the surface of bacteria. Our bodies have evolved ways to recognize these particles as a sign of infection. And as a result, they mount a really potent immune response to these particles. We think the outer membrane vesicle vaccine adjuvant uh, is really great because it can engage really two of the most important arms of the immune system. It can induce antibodies and it can induce a T cell response. So antibodies are really sort of the red flags of the immune system. They tell the immune system that something bad is there and mark it for death. And then the, the T cells really are sort of the assassins. They go in and help other cells kill whatever is marked for death. And so it's this interplay between these two that allow the best killing of the bacteria. We're learning that this T cell response is essential for combating a large number of pathogens for which we don't have vaccines. And so we think because the outer membrane vesicle is so good at engaging both these arms that we can create the next generation of vaccine and engage everything and we can, we can actually make vaccines that are potent against almost any pathogen you, you can think of.